This episode of Tom's Top 5 is brought to you by Gazelle. Welcome to Tom's Top 5, where each time we meet, we count down another hot list. I'm Tom Merritt. Tech ads are supposed to inspire you about products, but often they just make you shake your head, and sometimes they bring you closer to anger and disgust. So, let's see if we can get you angry and disgusted, and count down the top five worst tech ads. At number five, the HTC Rhyme. This slot was almost occupied by the weird Palm Pre Girl, but then HTC came around with its multi-armed weird Rhyme Girl. My jaw's still a little slack from seeing this one. Coming in at number four, Apple's follow-up to the classic 1984 ad was the less discussed 1985 Lemmings ad, which showed men in suits walking off cliffs until for some reason, one of them stopped and took off his blindfold. And somehow this all related to Mac Office. Up to number three, the Microsoft Seinfeld ads featuring Jerry's new best friend, Bill Gates. You know what I do? I wear them in the shower. You ever wear clothes in the shower, Bill? Never. You're dressed, and you're clean. Open the door, go about your business. There were moments of brilliance in these, but overall, they left people pretty confused. Especially when Windows Vista was so bad. Sliding in at number two, the Groupon Super Bowl ads. Want to save Tibet? Save on Tibetan food with Groupon. As Saturday Night Live spoofs, these would have been hilarious. As real Groupon ads, most people found them offensive, and Groupon pulled them. Mountainous Tibet, one of the most beautiful places in the world. This is Timothy Hutton. The people of Tibet are in trouble. Their very culture is in jeopardy. But they still whip up an amazing fish curry. Before we get to number one, let's have a positive tech ad. Our sponsor, they want to give you some cash. It's pretty simple. You've got gadgets, gizmos, and games, and the guys at Gazelle want to buy them. Gazelle buys more than 200,000 kinds of electronics, movies, and games for fair prices. They pay really fast, and they even pay the shipping in almost all cases. The next iPhone is coming. If you're one of the more than 35 million people who say they are going to buy one, there's a good chance you're going to need to sell an old one. Gazelle will only be buying 200,000 iPhone 4s, and yours will never be worth more than it is right now. So you should go there now to lock in your quote. It couldn't be simpler. Go to gazelle.com, see how much your stuff is worth, and get paid. All right, let's get to our number one, the worst tech ad I could find. At number one, it's finally fast. I was unaware of these until I asked for suggestions on Google+. Besides the vague and dubious nature of the service they provide, I love the part where they obscure the audio of what they'll fix. Plus, FinallyFast.com provides you the software you need to get your computer up to peak performance by getting rid of all the nasty flush that make even the best computers freeze and crash. Find out why Ascentive has been featured in Newsweek, Forbes, and the Wall Street Journal. Well, that's it for this edition of Top 5. Suggest your own least favorite ads at our website. Just comment on the post for this episode at revision3.com slash Tom's Top 5. I'm Tom Merritt. See you next time.